best is And that's on my chest, Miss Bobby is the best And I can't take credit, I just happen to be blessed I got a message to share, listen if you dare Don't follow the shadows, look up and see clear I swear it's like Plato's allegory of the cave How can I free people who choose to be slaves? I try until they put me in the grave I promise the world I save, the world I save I'm at one with the universe, the world is mine I'm focused on my grind, I'm focused on the climb Up the mountain of success, love and no stress It's written in the stars Now we have Greg Harris in the studio with us. I can't wait to introduce you all to this young entrepreneur. He is responsible for a number of businesses. Today we're going to talk mostly about eco clean cars, but I want to know, well, what I'm hoping that you will do is motivate and inspire the other young professionals out there who are interested in becoming entrepreneurs and starting their own businesses because you have been successful at that, right? Definitely. I've had a little bit of Well, success. first, let me, let me slow down. How are you today, Greg? I'm doing excellent, Miss Spivey. How are you doing? Very good. Thank you for coming on Thank the show. Thank you for inviting me on your show. You're very welcome. So look, you have a number of businesses. We've talked about this off camera. This, the, the gentleman has a lot going on. <laughs> We're going to talk about Eco Clean Cars and some of the other things, but how did you get into entrepreneurship? Um, I got into entrepreneurship mainly because the opportunity in which I was employed in, it just was not offering me the type of lifestyle that you know I wanted to live and that I saw people around me living. So I decided to um, create a company in which you know I would be able to soon retire off of and create true generational wealth like um, the robber barons of the past did. And essentially, I started a, a green company. I needed to look into a company that would uh, essentially go into the depths of the core of the universe and what we need to preserve, which is our waterways you know, and our environment. Um, so I started Eco Clean Cars, which is a waterless auto detailing company. And uh, at the time, I had a big Hummer, which was people would say is a very un you know, eco-friendly type of vehicle. Yeah. And I agree. And, but you know, I had one, and I needed to get it cleaned. And when I moved to the Maryland area, there wasn't many places where I could take a vehicle of that size to. So I decided uh, you know, I was going to find a solution. And I did. And I ran across a product which was biodegradable. And um, it was uh, less pollutant to our waterway systems, which Maryland is having a big problem with um, this year. And they're trying to come back, which our product helps to. Uh, we save 60 gallons of water per car that we clean. So the initiative with Eco Clean Cars and sustainability aligned perfectly with the marketplace. Now I know that people can go and do their research on Eco Clean Cars if they like to, but I want you to tell me here, they, they can go online and, and mm -hmm. do their research, but I want you to tell me how can you clean a car without water and how did you manage to make it a green or biodegradable product? What role did you play in that? Okay, so the role that I played in uh, the product being a biodegradable product and marketing as such one, uh, the product is an EPA certified product and has been since 2008. Uh, we brought the company to the D.C. area and also started serving the um, customers in the metropolitan area of Fairfax, Virginia, as well as uh, Maryland. And essentially, you know, I started Eco Clean Cars and, you know, I didn't know how I was going to get clients, so I went and partnered with Living Social, mm -hmm. a, a social company as well, and they helped along with um, the Home Garden Network um, when I hosted a convention at the uh, DC Convention Center for uh, eco-friendly products. Mm -hmm. Everyone joined on and from there Eco Clean Cars was, was born. I like that. I think that's what drew me most to you to be on the show is because I'm all about going green and hugging trees and saving <laughs> the environment. And for you to be a young brother to find, a, I guess, a passion in that is, is very interesting to me. But I want to know more about how you got into entrepreneurship. How did you, we're actually going to take a break first. I want to know how did you get into entrepreneurship? What, what made you want to get into the green business and, okay. and help our environment? And how can you inspire other young people? Because you speak as well, right? Definitely. All right, so we're going to take a quick break. I got some PSAs for you, and we'll be right back. Spivey here, and I'm so thankful for this platform that I have. The Rising Spivey Show gives me the opportunity to spotlight local artists, entrepreneurs, community leaders, and everyday people. I also get to spotlight nonprofits like this one, Synergy Lounge. It was established to inspire, enlighten, empower, and equip people with the strategies to help them pursue their dreams and to live their lives at their best. The organization is led by Nisha Parker, who has a servant's heart and is passionate about inspiring and encouraging the masses. Visit Synergy Lounge online at synergylounge.org. In our previous segment, uh, Sam and Courtney and I spoke about uh, young people becoming or going into entrepreneurship and the fact that 
fact that entrepreneurship isn't something that's being taught in school. Um, for some reason or another, you were able to find your way into the entrepreneurial world yes. um, at a fairly young age. Do you mind me telling the people your age? Not at all. He's a 23-year-old businessman. Mm -hmm. How did you get to that point when most of your, co your peers, I'm sure, are, are out hanging and partying? Yeah. You are a businessman. You must be cut from a different cloth. Tell us how you, you got to be Greg. Okay, so um, I started, um, I was serving in the military. I was a hospital corpsman working in labor and delivery. Oh, what branch was it? I was in the Navy, mm -hmm. and uh, my mother, father, my whole family, essentially. And, um, you know, I just knew I had to create a new path eventually. So, you know, I was preparing myself for the transition. Mm -hmm. So I started at 19, and uh, I knew that my next set of orders was bringing me to a very large metropolitan area, you know, where essentially all the, the commercialization was going on. So I said, I'm going to implant myself and make myself a seed in this city um, and just put myself wherever I could be placed in all small places and spaces. And that's what I did and I continued to push on and when I saw how the community was receiving what it is I was putting out in, as far as the green space, being a part of the Green Business Bureau, just knowing where to attach myself mm -hmm. and um, the type of clout that I needed in order to be looked at as a serious business person to be so young. And, um, you know, a lot of people, they try to bar you and they say, you know, you're too young for that or, you know, you, you, you shouldn't be doing that. But that's not the case. And it's exactly what you should be doing because the thought came into your mind for a reason. And it's for you to execute. You know, man, I learned how to execute well. And from, you know, those lessons of, and late nights of staying up, doing research on, you know, a, a wide gamut of different fields, you know, pertaining to business and how to franchise. Um, how to get my company in a SAM system, you know, things of that nature. You know, SAM to, means? SAM meaning uh, the, the federal contracting um, system to be able to get government contracts and uh, bid on different projects, whether it's construction or service-based uh, entities, whatever it is that you're offering. And, you know, I learned these systems and I implemented them and learned SEO, website, um, graphic design. You know, everything. So, so SEO is? Um, search engine optimization, optimization, which is how your customers are going to find you. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I, I just go around teaching at many universities on these principles. Well, I've seen video of you online speaking at the University of Maryland. Tell us about that. Uh, I essentially went to the University of Maryland to solicit the help of my fellow students to help them form a strategic plan and a strategic analysis on what exactly and where exactly they wanted to see their, their selves in the next five years and how they were going to get there. And I teach kids and students alike, and as well as uh, adults who have already been into different career fields and are looking for a new means of um, supplying themselves with you know, a sustainable lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's what I teach now at these universities and it's uh, been a great, uh, you know, experience for me to be able to be welcomed, you know, in these massive educational institutes. And it just shows that, you know, what we are speaking is, you know, truly of value. Now, my show is only 30 minutes, so we don't <laughs> have enough time to talk about all that Greg has going on. When I first met Greg, he told me he was opening a new business every day, which I think has to be pretty impossible. But knowing him, it could be possible. Tell us, um, Briefly, because we only have about 60 seconds left in the show. Tell us about the other things that you're going, starting off with the airline. Okay, I have a company called Skyline Adventure Tours where we are teaching young children how to fly planes at the sport pilot class level, as well as my book on Amazon, Ambitions of an Entrepreneur, where we actually teach you how to start and implement a global business and a global entrepreneurship career speaking all over the world about true success. Well, I'm sure that you are, no, I was about to say, you will be successful. You are already a success, isn't that right? Thank you so much. <laughs> so you all check him out online, distinguishedgentleman.tv. Did yes. you mention that? Yes, definitely, distinguishedgentleman.tv. Mm -hmm. Also, um, search Eco Clean Cars. Yes, Eco Clean Cars, and that's Greg Harris. Again, I thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And I thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Remember to visit us online at www.risingspivy.com. Be blessed.